Welcome to BeatSource Tech. My name is Mojax and today we've got a quick one for you. We are taking a look at the latest from the Engine DJ team. This is Engine 3.0. There were seven updates released for Engine DJ in 2022, a pretty solid number. Most of those were focused on bug fixes and performance improvements, but there were a few new features. A more advanced on-player beat grid editor and active loops, for example. But with the designation 3.0 as this new version has, you'd expect some big stuff, and it certainly delivers. Firstly, you can now have the Engine DJ software open on your computer, and as long as it's on the same network as your players or all in one device, you can access your entire library just as if it was on a USB drive or in Dropbox. It worked seamlessly for me, whether over Wi Fi or hardwired networking, and as with streaming music or Dropbox, the whole track is cached, so if you lose connection, loaded tracks will continue to play right through. It's a touch limited when compared with connecting CDJs to Record Box in export mode, as you can't load tracks onto devices from the computer itself. All the browsing still has to be done on the players. But as a way to access your entire library without spending time exporting tracks onto a drive from your computer, or if you have a huge library, it's a really efficient way of working. It's also ideal for doing track preparation on your hardware, as any changes you make to tracks, like adding hot cues or adjusting beat grids, will be immediately reflected back in your main library. The second new feature enables the third. There is a new heads-up display during playback. This helps you see at a glance which pad mode is enabled and also the parameters of each pad for, say, auto loops and the names of your cue points. Which leads to a feature which is, to my knowledge, a first on standalone DJ hardware, a sample player. Using it is very simple. There are eight sample slots which come pre-loaded and the engine team provide you with a bunch of extra samples which are now embedded on all engine devices. To play them back, you hold shift and hit the roll pad mode button. This is found on all engine hardware, so is universal. That will then give you access to all eight slots on some hardware, like the players, and the first four on things like the Mixtreme Pro, which only have that many pads. But you can still access the second four slots on that gear by holding shift and pressing the mode button again. The sampler is routed through the main output, and in the quick menu, there's a volume control for it. I'd like to see some more advanced routing options in future, but it works nicely as it is. Swapping out samples is also straightforward. Select a file in your library, swipe to load it, and you can choose which slot you'd like to load it to. The configuration of files you've loaded to the sampler will be saved to your drive and loaded up the next time you use it too. There are some limitations to the sample player in this iteration. It's only for one shots, there's no way to loop samples or sync them to playing decks, and there's no sample editing, so you can't trim a longer file down to play just one part. So there is definitely potential for the feature set to be expanded in future. But for what it is, an easy way to play drops, sound effects, and other one-shot samples over your set, this is really unprecedented in the standalone world, and I am delighted to see it. Although it's not officially part of the Engine 3.0 launch, I will also give a quick shout out to SoundSwitch 2.7, which just dropped in the past couple of weeks. The big thing of note in there is the new ability to auto-script your auto-loops. That means that your auto loops will be tailored to your specific lighting rig or rigs rather than being generic programs for all setups. I was testing the beta of 2.7 before release and I got great results, so whether you're using SoundSwitch with other software or as part of the Engine DJ suite as Engine Lighting, this update is a no-brainer. So there you go, a brief look at Engine DJ 3.0. Two very significant new features in there. I'm sure there is more to come from those features as well. I think this is just the earliest stage and I know the engine team will want to do more with them, but even right now, as they're debuting, they are a fantastic addition to the tool chest of any engine DJ user. So if that is you, go ahead, get this downloaded, get it installed to your hardware and your computer, because I think you're going to have a lot of fun with version 3.0. Thank you for watching this episode of BeatSource Tech. I do hope you've enjoyed it or found it useful. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you next time.